Wow. Chef, this is for you, buddy. Wow, look at that baby. Nice. That thing's huge. Oh, you, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Robert's in the water now. They spotted about a 15 pound mutton. And we are going to eat tonight. Down to get it again. Let's see. Hey, wow. Man, baby. Look at that. Big old mutton snapper. Beautiful. Chef, what do you think? Hero, we're going to eat sushi. Good sushi. Yeah, yeah. That's going to feed us tonight, Robert. So here we got the Mun Snapper. Yes, look at Oh, because of this man right here. This is the man right Dude, here. Dude, I'm so honored to be here. It is, <laughs> it is a great time. Just a great day to be alive. Oh yeah. So I'm asking Hero, what are the ideas he has to make, what dishes, you know? Yeah, we got all more fish and we have to eat the sashimi. Well, yeah, fast, you know? I, I, I just agree. didn't want to all right. all right, so that is our lionfish and these top dorsal spines are venomous. They also have a couple venomous spines right at the base of their anal fin and at the tip of their caudal fins. So they are venomous and if they sting you, like even right now they could sting you, it feel like a really bad bee sting. And if you get stung by a, a lionfish, typically really hot water is the best thing to kill the pain. So let's clean this sucker. come right out here and they literally clean up just like any other fish the only difference whenever I'm cleaning lionfish and anything else is I keep my blade far away from like I don't choke up on it I keep my hands because I don't want these barbs to drive into the top of my knuckles. Look how snow white that meat is, y'all. Beautiful. Hey, chef, where's chef go? What do you think so far? Excellent. Perfect. Huh? Hello. Yeah. Do you have any more? No, I will in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was bad. <laughs> they love dogs. <laughs> now we have a really pretty mutton snapper, probably about a 11 or 12 pounder, and Bernie's gonna skin the head. This is something I've never actually tried to do. Okay, Bernie, come on. Yeah. There we go, boys. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> hey, like Mr. Rob said, this is not a very good knife right here for the skin the head. It's a great skin knife for skin. Head. Just skin hey, the knife. Come on, man. This is not my. This is not my tool. This is your tool. So, all right. So I gotta make myself a better person to use this knife right here. Okay, guys. So, there we go right here. So this is what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna start from there. Oh man, Mr. Rob, this looks like a good night. We got the silent movie gang. Alright, folks. So you see all of that right there? All of the white piece? That right there, right there? If that's what I'm gonna hide. Two beautiful pieces of fish. Take them, rinse them off. Anytime you rinse off your fish, you wanna rinse them off in salt water. Why is that, Robert? Uh, if you rinse fish off in fresh water, it just gives it a, ugh, I don't know. Just rinse it off in salt water. 
as a, just a white guy, I have no idea how to make sushi rice. And sushi rice is like the foundation of sushi. So I brought a master sushi chef along. This is Hiro Tahata, and everybody, I want you to go check out his channel. It's called Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. I cannot say that. Sushi Chef. Sushi Chef. Sushi Chef. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we doing here? Show us what we're doing. Okay, so first we're gonna make a sushi rice. Okay. So this is Japanese short grain rice we just steamed already. So now we are going to mix with the sushi bine. Okay, so that's short grain sushi rice that he steamed already and now he's gonna mix it with with uh, sushi vinegar sushi vinegar the sushi vinegar has a uh, rice vinegar mm -hmm. and uh, salt and sugar okay this is already mixed up already okay so we're gonna add onto the, into a uh, steamed rice so this is six cup uh, rice is here so I'm gonna use a cup and a half cool that uh, sushi vinegar into. six cups of rice a cup and a half of vinegar yeah. cool I'm taking notes because whenever I go home I better make Sarah some sushi. Or I'm just bringing her down to your restaurant on the other. Sushi. Into a steamed rice. Okay, so this is hot but not scalding hot. So he's not, you're not trying to mash it, you're trying to cut it. Kind of cutting it closer. Now you're just trying to separate the grains. Right. Actually, you can mix with, uh, with the uh, sushi vinegar uh, in the this container. Okay, all the process. But this is a little bit too small for six cup rice, so I'm gonna leave a little bit more. And I know I'm naive, but I figured you just make the rice and you're good to go. Yeah. I would wrong. Uh, just just make the rice without the vinegar. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, you can do it, but it's a little less flavor. Okay. So, so like that. And do you add any salt, pepper? Uh, no. No? No. Okay, no. cool. And then you can keep the, the towel on it, and then a little bit to cool it down. Okay, so... About 10-15 uh, minutes. Cool. So, the sushi rice has to be a little bit not too hot, not too cold. It's kind of... Kind of it's good, so... Like you, this, this was... Like whenever we did this, I was really looking forward to just learning from you. So this is so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Next step we're gonna do a, a snapper sashimi. We call it usuzukuri, which means the uh, curry slice very thin. Take a water box. Oh, and he overlapped it perfectly. One of the great things about fish that are speared, like this fish, is literally as you spear them, you bleed the fish out. So they die very, very fast, they're bled out, and then we throw them straight on ice. It's very important when you're harvesting fish to throw it right into an ice brine or an ice slush. Then the ice and the water completely surround the fish, bring down the core temperature, and then you're left with a nice, firm filet. If you're buying fish or if you're looking for fish to cook, if it smells like fish, give it back. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We're making a snapper flower. Yes. Well, Hero, I'm glad you were... Okay, that's it. I'm glad you were paying attention in all the classes. <laughs> you did a very good job. Excellent.
Look at that. I mean, what the heck? Look at that. I, is it a sun or is it a flower? Like sunflower. a rose. It's a sunflower. <laughs> sunflower. <laughs> He's a sushi chef and a stand-up com comedian. That is unbelievable. Now, what would you season this with? What would what would you serve it with? Yes, with the uh, citrus soy sauce. Soy sauce is the rice and vinegar mixed in. And the uh, I don't know. This is called ponzu. 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 And I wanna add a little bit more citrus. This is called yuzu. Yuzu, yuzu juice. Well, that's it. Hey Robert, do the honors with your chopsticks. Where are the chopsticks at? Okay, that's right. Hey, Kevin. Okay, one piece fish. Alright. Give me a try. And the host of the house, please. You must try. Yeah! Of course. On. Okay, real... so. I feel, I feel really bad eating this. It looks so pretty. Yes. You'll get over it after the first bite. Why? <laughs> oh, wow, I like the ponzu. That is phenomenal. I really like the ponzu sauce. Good? Yes. This is the top loin. So on each fillet of a snapper, each fillet you've got two loins, your top loin and then your bottom loin. He's cutting at a diagonal across the grain. So the grain runs like that. Beautiful. Now what are you doing there, chef? This I cut a little cross in the uh, uh, piece of fiber line. Mm -hmm. So make it a little more soft, it's not too chewy. Oh, so you're tenderizing right. it. They don't call him a master chef for no reason. And that sharp, that is like a nitro laser sharp knife. This is a, uh, we call it nori. Nori? Nori the seaweed. Okay. And yeah, from the bamboo mat. This, this is clearly your first time ever doing this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Kevo, hold on one sec. Huh. Uh, mm. Now I see how it's made. Now it's the only thing I think about whenever I eat it in the store is this right here. Yeah, man. Sesame okay, seeds. so sesame seeds? Yes. Okay. And then next one, rip it. Does it taste different? Uh, actually, rice coming outside. Um, you don't feel much the seaweed flavor. Okay. Uh, seaweed outside, of course, it coming the uh, seaweed flavor coming okay. apart, so right. kind of different texture. That one looks tastier. Definitely looks freaking good. 
you ever at any point need somebody to make sure you're doing it right, just let me know and I'll shove it in my mouth. <laughs> just, just let me know. That's what I'm here for. This one, a nice little side. Alright, you guys, I want to introduce you real quick. Francis, come here. Yes, Jack Nicholson. This right here, Jack, Jack Nicholson. This is Jack Nicholson's <laughs> stunt double. His name is Francis, and he owns this home that we're in right now. He actually owns two of them. He and his beautiful wife. Yes. And if you want to check out more about this home, go to stanhillrents.com. It's fairly impressive. That's all I can say. Like that's just an understatement. There's not really. I can't go into depth and explain to how amazing this place is. Just go check out Stanhill Rents. It's like lifestyles of the rich and famous. Okay. Hey, the moment of truth. This is a man. What? Let's see how these ribs. Man look. with a plan. Yes. Got to make them nice and sealed up. Then they sort of steam in their own juice. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh, I can smell them from here. They look amazing. You just want that to go like that, yeah. Nice and nice and tender. I'm so excited to have your food. Robert, you know that? No way. I only see your food all the time. I'm like, I gotta eat some of this guy's food. Hey, right. No, for real. Hero, are you excited? Taste test, taste test. Especially when you go out and leave the stuff in the smoker for hours and come back and stuff like that. Awesome. Oh man, look at those ribs. Those look They're perfect, good. actually. I'm talking about y'all. Yeah. I had to say one thing, Robert. I would never imagine the day that we'd see your ribs next to Hero Sushi. This is incredible. How awesome is that? No, no, really. Hero, come over around here. This is like surf and turf to the max. This is unbelievable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this happened, this happened on total accident, but my ribs are next to your sushi. <laughs> that's cool stuff, no, man. That's awesome. Look at this. Good, good stuff. Awesome. Right back.